I was selected in Pakistan Army and supposed to go in Kakul Military Academy in uh, 1971, April 20th. But unfortunately, I was attacked by some miscreants in Mirpur during a 27th curfew break. And I was very much lucky that I was survived with one of my uncle, but a lot of people I saw in the street, they killed. And I was also hit by some deadly weapons. A lot of blood came through my body. So that day I promised that they are killing innocent people for nothing. Who is going through in the street, they are killing it as because they are Bengali. So I took oath that I have to resist. If a young boy like ours did not do anything, then how this country will be liberated? How we can save our innocent people? So taking in mind of that, I decided that I will cross the border and I took training from India. And so I joined, I went to Malaga and we started training. It was a vigorous training. I think one year training they have given me, given us in six weeks. From early uh, four o'clock in the morning, five o'clock in the morning till eight o'clock, nine o'clock in the night. Training and training and training. All sorts of arms and ammunition, all sorts of uh, explosives, all sorts of charges, then heavy machine guns, mortars and everything and we have learned there. And the army war techniques, ambush, raid, sentry challenge, all these sort of things. And finally, they have decided that they will give us around 100 boys a special task. So they send us to uh, dividing into two groups all student platoons, 50 and 50. I was, they have selected me as a commander of uh, 50 boys, sent me to Shaldanodi. I was posted in Shaldanodi, Mondobag. And there was a, Fourth Bengal was fighting that time with Pakistan army. We didn't have any experience. So actually they sent us for a battle inauguration test. It means I have to take a direct uh, frontal fight experience because the guerrillas are hit and run. But Khaled Musharraf and ATM either they want, we should fight and we should ambush and we should directly fight with the Pakistan armies inside the Dhaka, inside around Bangladesh. There are a lot of fights going on over there. there and we have conquered the Noyanpur railway station, Dhaka Chittagong uh, uh, railway line. There is a station called Noyanpur. The Pakistan army was there, around 50 Pakistan army with a strong 40 to 50 strong bunker in cemented bunker was there. So one day around 100 of us decided to uh, raid the, uh, the uh, railway station and we actually raided it and we have killed all Pakistan armies. Uh, we have around 40 to 45 Pakistan armies with Three to four hours vigorous fight was there. And with mortar, heavy machine gun, LMGs, small weapons, grenade, everything we surrounded from all the places. And finally, we saw seven of our freedom fighters also died, martyred. And we conquered and we took our Bangladeshi flag there. And it was there for more than a month. There was no real connection between Dhaka and Chittagong for I think more than two, three weeks. And gradually we have conquered the Dhaka Chitrang rail line also. And we came to Dhaka and there was uh, near Dhaka, there is a Kirani Ganj. I started my base camp over there. And gradually I started giving training the local people. And finally, I have ended with around 500 guerrilla force. And they used to sabotage the uh, power stations. They used to sabotage the, like Aziz, he sabotaged the one convoy and killed several Pakistan armies over there. We used to put the mines over there to this. Actually, we have started giving them a pain, serious pain. Everywhere they became scared of, they used to call Mukti. It is a panic for them. 
there if you, they heard there's a mukti over there and then finally the november uh, 24th it was after it's it, it, during each time and there's a place called nawabganj ps police station there was a captain there was a major and 500 pakistan armies they uh, were marching from nawabganj to dhaka and i heard that uh, there was a lot of fire and um, shelling is going on and uh, somebody told they came uh, very quickly and says they are coming towards uh, they are crossing my base camp around 2 kilometers so we t- started immediately and took all the arms say about 2 uh, 300 boys we have take out position near the dholeshwari and ichamati river and uh, we are we, the natural bunkers were there in the uh, river banks so we uh, took position over there and we are all set the dark uh, when the sun set they we are waiting and waiting 5 6 hours they are not coming and there's no firing also after that around uh, dark time i saw there is a cigarette light and i said nobody should fire when i give signal only you will fire uh, and uh, first fire will be from me then i aim the light and i fired and i saw a vigorous um, sound oh my god like this something like that and then my crew fired they started fire and probably many in that moment several pakistan army but in the dark we don't know what's going going on and it was a flat land so they didn't have any shelter so our fire was directly hit them so the whole night fire going on and then next day uh, we also saw some of the body is on top of the land uh, what they did they have uh, dig out a foxhole and they took shelter on that foxhole and we we fight 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 and the village people came through the um, banks of river they gave us food they gave us coconuts and everything and we fight 